Darren, Darren Edwards is here and um, in the sunshine, I was just talking about, I thought it always lashed down with rain at Weybridge. So did I, Cornelius, um, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. I don't think probably anywhere in the country is getting um, weather quite as good as this today. So, no. Um, no, it's uh, great to be here. And those old gloomsters of the weather forecasters, they said, oh, wrap up warm, put on your gloves and your thermals. Well, gosh, uh, you'd, be, you'd, be, you'd be doing 10 stone if you, you were wearing too much today. <laughs> I, well, probably, you I probably you wouldn't be doing anyone, 10 anyone. stone Cornelius, but um, no, maybe maybe once upon a time 15 years ago. But um, but no, no, it's, it, I, I was amazed when I got down here and had a walk of the course how good the ground was. I, it's not it's not good. It's it's I would say it's soft, good to soft in places. But to be honest, I was expecting to be squelching around. So um, that area front of the of the viewing area. So when you go from sand sand to turf. Do, do, that do you really notice that from the saddle? Um, you, you you do because what's it about a furlong? Uh, probably all probably all told if if you sort of add the the back straight with the with the with the um, home straight as well, then yeah, it probably yeah. would be a furlong. So it does make a difference. You do need a horse to um, you know that's prepared to gallop on it, but um, and it's it's obviously it's firm underneath, and that's why they put the sand down. So. Um, you know, actual, in actual fact, you go, you're coming back onto better ground, so it is actually quite a good place to try and make a bit of ground because um, you know it's, it's it's decent, it's a decent surface, and um, but obviously you see it now at, at Fontwell, for example. So um, yeah. you know, horses Musselburgh, I think, it. is another one. Yeah. There are a few, there are a few, aren't there? And um, it strikes me that you, you know you go quite sharply downhill and then you come quite quite steeply uphill and looking through the form of some of these horses there are definitely wade bridge specialists there are yeah. horses that really like the challenge yeah yeah no you're absolutely right it's it's a it's it's a horses for courses track um a bit like sort of toaster back in the day you know a lot of horses um wouldn't go around toaster whereas um you've got horses that absolutely loved it there and Waybridge is Waybridge is one of those unique tracks um people people crab it and sort of say it's not a racetrack but over the you know, I've been riding here for the <laughs> best part of 20 years and, and you actually have had some very good horses um, mm. run here. Um, and you normally get, you know, um, the best horse will still win, normally win, but you've got to have a horse that's prepared to, uh, that's quite balanced um, for the sharp corners and it is also prepared to let itself down, um, galloping down the hill and, and not, not all horses do. I'll tell you what, just break into you for one second just to confirm that result now. Ross Derrin is confirmed as the winner of Division 2 of the Maiden, winning by half a length from third de Malboro second and confirmation that Take a Bid uh, has finished in third place. The kitchen mechanic very well backed and I bet you that runs better uh, next time will be better for the race. Anyway, that's, that's some very amateur analysis of the last race. Um, uh, really looking forward of all the ra nine races here today and nine good races but race um race what is it race seven uh which is the men's open you're on honest deed against navin man and you know talking about waybridge both horses like waybridge and you had a you've had a couple of tremendous set twos here yeah no absolutely um i was fortunate enough to um ride navin man to a couple of wins last season and i rode him first time out at ottery this season um he i think uh, He'll be a tough horse to, 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 to beat today. I'm back on Honest Deed, who, um, who I think I've won about eight on. Um, and, and I ride for Dean, who's a good supporter of mine. So um, when the two... Were so being, that was the reason, that's the reason you're... Yeah, upset. when the two were entered in the same race, I had to stick with, um, stick with him. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Navaman's the one to beat. But Honest Deed is, is a good horse in his own right. Um, he, is a, he is a horse that, that, that likes Wade Bridge. He's a good traveller in the race. He's a strong traveller. Um, which you know, which suits it around here. You know, he should still be on the bridle, go into three out at least. Um, you know, and he's a different sort of horse to Navaman, who's who's a stayer. But I haven't told Will that. <laughs> well, look, uh, best of luck with that later on. The men's open at 2:20, and a couple of other rides later on. So best of luck with them as well.